Hi everybody, this is uh, Nick from Newegg Game Crate here. I'm in Tilt Brush on the HTC Vive. Uh, we're gonna put together a quick video here showing off some of the newer features of this app. It's been out for a while. It was one of the launch applications of the Vive. Uh, it's made by Google. It's part of their like experimental VR thing. I imagine it'll come to their Daydream headset eventually, this or something very like it. It's, there's a variety of art games on the Vive, but this one is probably the best one. Uh, this song you're listening to right now is, if I can remember correctly, I think it's B8LV by an artist called HS. It's uh, royalty-free music, Creative Commons. We'll drop a link uh, in the description below. You can check it out. It's uh, really cool. And um, I'll show you in just a second here why we're listening to this music while we're playing the game. And that's because they've added uh, audio reactive brushes to the game. And let's see what that means. Uh, that means that all of these brushes here that you can see that have the little audio symbol, once you've turned it on there, they actually react to the music that you're listening to. And rather than just being a static line, it's a waveform reacting to the, the bass or the beats of the music you're listening to. And what that does, aside from being really cool looking and trippy, is allow you to kind of create a, uh, a personal uh, club for yourself. You know, see, I'll cage myself in here tripping myself out a bit. All of it reacting to the beats of the music. Uh, let's try a different color for some fire. Let's go with some yellow fire. Yeah, that's really cool. You watch closely, you can see not all of them do react to the music, but a good number of them do. This disco ball material is really cool. Let's make a disco ball above our head. Yeah, that's really neat. So if you're the kind of person who really enjoys feeling the music, really getting into it, if you go to you know EDC or uh, Burning Man or something like that, then this is definitely the sort of thing that will appeal to you. Some new brushes that have been added to the game too. These, what is this called? The, the Hyper Grid. You can see it fall slowly, and then a new one will spawn from the top, and it'll repeatedly fall. Yeah, you can see and it moves quick, more quickly or slowly depending on the beat of the music that you're listening to. That's really neat. Uh, this one I really like. I think it was added before Stranger Things came out, which is kind of uh, convenient, but it's just a Christmas tree, or it's Christmas light line. And again, you can see the lights move to the beat. There's also a new spectator camera that I wanted to show off to you that's been added to the game. It's really good for when you're recording VR in this. It's in the settings, in the labs, spectator camera. So now you should be seeing my headset. I think it's moving in a figure eight pattern by default. Let's uh, move it to stationary. And I should be able to move it around. Right, so you can see me being a, a DJ painting with Christmas lights. What's up? But we'll turn that off for now. Uh, where's my lab controls? It's easy to lose track of uh, menus that you open when you have all this messiness around here. Tiltosaurus. Oh. Yeah, there's a bunch of new features added in the, uh, in the app, like YouTube chat, Twitch chat, good for streaming. In 2017, VR streaming is definitely gonna become more of a thing, so you'll see more people taking advantage of these apps. The rainbow. Oh, this one's really cool, reacting to the music. You can see how all the different outside lines are reacting to the beats in the, of the song. We'll try one more with this song and then we'll uh, play a new song and so you can see some of how the brushes react to a different sort of t uh, tune. Oh, this is just tune actually as I'm saying it, as I'm drawing it. <laughs> this thing is really good. If I was actually a, cool, a good artist, which I'm not, I think I could do some really cool stuff with this tune effect. You have the black lines on the outside, but I'm not, so. See me turn off the audio reactor, some things still move, right? The rainbow blinks on and off but this one doesn't trip out. But then you turn the audio reactor back on, it looks for the music, and then it starts dancing around to it. Um, it can react to any music that you're playing on your system. Um, it, you know, when you turn it on, it'll just listen for what you're playing. We're actually just playing this through the browser, uh, and it's able to pick it up, which is really nice. So now we're gonna take a quick break, put, put on a different song, and start a whole new palette and uh, a whole new musical experience. All right, this new song is uh, it's called Perfect Boy by an artist called Math Grant. Again, we'll drop a link, give him the proper credit. Uh, let's do a snowy wonderland, decorate a snowman, have it dance around to these tunes. Oh, it's on the wrong side of me. Let me move right here. 
Again, the rainbow is a really cool effect. <laughs> That's fun. This is a chip tunes kind of song, which is nice for this setting. Um, let's make a snowstorm. I think, yeah, the snow does react. Let's make it the right color. Do it right there. Okay, so there's a snowstorm. And I think I can grab it, yeah. Now you can expand and contract stuff. You couldn't do this when Tilt Brush first came out, but this really allows you to get a lot more versatile and you can actually like stand inside your creations, kind of do some fine detailing and then compact them again. Now I have all the snow. Whoa, <laughs> I shrunk the snowman down. Here he is right there with his rainbows coming out of his head. I think the song stopped, so I'm gonna have my uh, off-camera assistant restart it. There we go. Ah, everything's back. Oh, the snowman being right in front of my face is perfect. Okay, give him some light arms. Oh, that's fun. Uh, what else do we want? Chromatic wave streamers? What do streamers do? Oh, these are big. Yeah, definitely a very cool, re relaxing experience. Um, recently, we did a review of uh, the sub pack, which is available in a couple different forms. It's a vest or it's something you attach to the back of your chair that delivers, uh, kind of delivers the effect of a subwoofer, but it's basically silent because it delivers it right into your chest or right into your back just by vibrating. Uh, it's really cool. We'll put a link to the review I did on Game Prey to that, but I was just imagining when I was doing that, that combined with this, where you're like, actually, if you had good headphones on, you were listening to the music, you were seeing the music, and you were feeling the music, and it would all be almost silent. Like you wouldn't be disturbing somebody in the same room, provided you had headphones in the sub pack. That's a really cool kind of experience. So yeah, Tilt Brush keeps getting better. They keep adding more stuff to it. It's definitely the, uh, the painting app on, in VR to beat right now. Oh, this is really cool. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, make sure I save it. Let's see, done. All right, our song ended, so we'll wrap up there. Uh, that's some of the newest features available in Tilt Brush. Got the audio reactive brushes, got the spectator camera and some other stuff. Uh, if you want a Vive, if you want the hardware to run the Vive, go to newegg.com slash VR, and uh, we'll be back with more cool VR experiences in the coming weeks. Bye, guys.